Good morning everybody, Ian Gilder from TV Travel Shop. I hope you're all well, hope you're all staying safe, and I hope you're not all too bored. Hopefully I'm gonna bring, in, bring some light into your life, give you some inspiration, and get you away on a holiday, which I know many people are dreaming about. So, usually we have three offers. The first one's gonna be a short haul offer, the second one a long haul offer, and then either a cruise, a bucket list, or a sporting event for the last offer. The team sourced um, various deals from different travel agents and tour operator partners who submit them. The team research them to make certain they are a cracking deal. And then lastly, they make certain your money is safe by either the way of APTA, ATO or a trust service. Let's get cracking with today's show. And I have three lovely, lovely offers. And the first one comes from my mate, the travel fella. He's getting the hang of this now. We're not getting Scotland for £500 in January when it's raining. He's sending us to Fuerventura. It's not somewhere that I've actually been before. Uh, it's one of the Canary Islands. It's around about a four hour drive, oh, sorry, four hour drive, four hour flight. Lovely place to go to, um, great weather. Not quite so commercialized as places like Tenerife and Gran Canaria, but very sort of similar, lovely sandy beaches, look volcanic, hilly, and there's quite a lot of things to see and do in um, Fuerventura. Things you can see and do, um, this is actually in Coral Echo. You can take a four hour sailing tour over to the Lobos Islands from Fiorentina to get yourself out into the sea. If you fancy a little bit of dune bugging, that's going to be very, very good fun as well. If you're think, thinking a bit of surf up, dude, take a surf class if you've never done it before. There's also a water park, you like a little bit of water park, get yourself sliding down the slides. Also, it has a little bit of um, I wouldn't say culture, but obviously it has a national park, so get yourself on a few Ventura tour, which will take in the Coral Echo National Park as well. And it's just a lovely place to get out and see and do, so you might want to actually hire a car. So, in, or last thing you can do is take a combo electric bike and Segway, so get yourself up in the mountains, take the strain, let the electric bike push you up there. But so if you want to hire a car, ask the, ask the old travel fella, and he will be able to do this for you. So the hotel that we're looking to stand at is the Hesperia Bristol Play, which is a three-star accommodation. It's for some new rooms, so they literally refurbish the hotel and you'll be guaranteed a, a, a new room. It's only five minutes away from the Las Dunas National Park and the beach is just over a kilometre away. There's a fishing harbour located nearby and within a number of minutes you can get into the centre of town for plenty of, of shopping, for restaurants, for bars. Hotel has all the usual facilities. It has a, an, a, a main swimming pool, it has a kids swimming pool, sun loungers, poolside bar, snack bar, nice restaurant. You can do bocce, which I think is like bowling, beach volleyball, and for a fee you can hire out a bike and do a bit of mountain biking. So work up a thirst. That's one thing I always recommend, work up a thirst. So you, you deserve a beer when you're going away. Usual facilities in the room, safe, um, hair dryer, um, all en suite, very decent hotel, and it's rated number 27 out of 45 hotels in Cor Coral Echo, and it's got a 3.5 a, a rating on TripAdvisor. So a decent hotel at a decent price. They have various dates going all the way from May through to March, but the leading date is on the 10th of October for seven nights flying from London, including the hotel, including your flights. They're leading in at £239. So plus that, £31, £32 per person per day, you kind of, unbelievable value. So if you fancy a little bit of Fuerventura, fancy a little bit of winter sun, give the old travel fella a call. Number should be on the screen. If you like this deal, please like it and share it on Facebook. Give us some Instagram love, or go on to our YouTube channel, subscribe, enable your notifications, and get to see my gorgeous face at 11 o'clock every day. So we're now on to our second offer, and I've been waiting months to say this. I should have opened on this at the beginning of the show, but I want to say, Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> Guess where we're going? Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make myself laugh. No, we are going to Vietnam. Well, Vietnam, Cambodia and Thailand, actually. This is an offer from my good mates, WWTT Deals. Put the teeth back in. They've supplied us a deal which is um, very different, very unusual, a full escorted tour. And after my um, Malaysia one the other day with constant travel, with getting my pronunciation right, this is going to be equally as bad, it must be equally as funny. And if I laugh, I don't care anyway. I'm getting paid to do this, so it makes no odds to me. 
So this is based going on the 29th of September for an eight night um, tour of Vietnam and Thailand. You can stand in awe of the architecture of the Angkor Wat. This is the largest religious monument in the world. We were cracking jokes about being a large erection earlier, but I'm not going to put that one in. You can contemplate the horrors of the Kelly Fields at Phenomen Phung. This nine day trip is ideal for travellers who are short on time, but want to soak up the colours, culture and history of this incredible region. It's natural beauty coupled with um, history make Cambodia a truly fascinating destination with your accommodation, transportation and entrance to Angkor Wat arranged by, uh, by the CEO, Chief Experience Officers, well not Chief Op Executive Officers, you can tr concentrate on making this time of your life. So they're going to fly you into Ho, Ho Chi Minh City, which is the capital of Vietnam. You're going to have, um, you're going to arrive and have a, the afternoon to yourself. The following day, you're going to meet your CEO and enjoy a boat route cruise through the villages, islands, and the markets of the Mekong Delta, and visit traditional candy factories. Following day, you're going to still be in Ho Chi Minh and then cross over to Phnom Penh. Um, which is um, a full day going from Vietnam to Cambodia and then enjoy a cyclo tour throughout the city. So hopefully if you're fit enough to go through there. Following day, you're going to have a guided tour of the Tour Sleng Museum, Museum, sorry, which is the S21 prison and Chokon Elk, which is the Killing Fields. You, for an optional, you can opt to visit the Royal Palace, the Natural Museum of the Central Market. Following day, you're going to go on to Sim Reap. Um, that, which is the home base for the, exploring the incredible Angkor Wat, again, the largest religious temple in the world, not the largest erection. From there, you're going to watch the sunrise over the massive Angkor Temple complex with a guided tour, opt to visit the Tonle Sap floating village and the Angkor National Museum, enjoy a traditional meal of Khmer food at G Adventures for good supported food projects. So they're going to get you out and experience how a local lives. Following day, you're going to do your G for good moment, which is giving back to the community. So you're going to go out and help whether it's at a school, um, serving up food for local people. And to spend another day in St. Reap before exploring more temples of Angkor and then going further afield. And then the last day, you're going to tr cross over to Bangkok and continue on to the bustling metropolis of Bangkok, where you're then going to have a full day. So what's included in this? It's eight nights. Um, eight breakfasts and one dinner, all your transfers and a good guided tour it includes your flights from London and whole baggage. They have various dates going from May to December. The leading date, as I say, is the 29th of September. And for your eight days, including what I've just said above, um, WWTT deals are doing this at £1,089 per person. So you're experiencing the best things to do at Vietnam, the best things to do in Cambodia, and then, uh, and then end up in Bangkok. I do believe if you're looking to extend the stay afterwards in Bangkok and put on a few extra tours, speak to WWTT deals and they must you can extend your flights, put an extra couple of days on there for you, see the floating markets. It's a great bustling city and do your impression of a hangover too is what I would be doing. So if you like this deal, please like it and share it on Facebook. Give us some Instagram love. Go on to our YouTube channel, subscribe, enable your notifications and I've got good morning Vietnam out of the way so I'm a happy, happy chappy today. So now on to section three. Is it a cruise? Is it a sporting event? Or is it a bucket list? I think this comes in, maybe bucket list to some people. Is it a sporting event? No, it's not a sporting event, but it involves both sports and it's a cruise. So I reckon this could actually encompass all three. Maybe, I'm stretching it a little bit. This comes from a new publisher. It's from the guys and girls at Fusion Cruises. I actually know Harry and Steve, the, the owners down there. Really, really lovely guys. And every year, they run a Ciroc cruise. If you don't know what Ciroc is, it's very similar to Le Jive. It's dancing, so dancing, sporting. I'm trying to get it all together here. And they've chartered a river cruise ship um, with Croisi Europe, and they are taking you into France. So this is based on the 5th of July aboard the Cyrano de Bergerac cruise ship, which is a Quasi-owned cruise ship. I actually met Steve on Quasi. Um, really, really love, lovely um, river cruises. If you've never been on a river cruise, 
They're generally a lot smaller than ocean cruises. They run about hold around about 80 cabins, 160 people. You generally have a couple of decks. You have the outside deck up the top where they're going to party at night, and then down below they have they have the bar where everything goes on there. The lectures that they do, they'll do some dancing there. So it's very intimate. It's very small. Doesn't have the facilities like a major cruise ship, but. I find the staff are absolutely amazing. I've still got some good friends from when I went on the, the Quasi um, River Cruise, some of the best staff you've ever been. They get to know you personally, they get to know you what you drink. The food is exquisite. And the thing I actually liked about Quasi is I, I can be a bit of a funny eater. Um, so what they do is they you tell them what you don't eat. So I have no fish, no rice, no pasta. So when they come up, you get what the food, what get what you're given within reason and the food was absolutely stunning so I'm actually trying stuff that was generally outside what I would normally eat very very good if you don't like it they will try and do something different so I really can rate the food the ships are beautiful is a four-star ship and as I say this offer is a little bit different so it's based on the 5th of July and you need to fly it to Bordeaux flights aren't included they've got people coming from all around the country all different parts of the world Flights from London at the time when we just checked were around about £60 per person plus luggage. Manchester was around about um, £80 per person, but they, you can get yourself down there. For a seven night, all inclusive cruise um, down th through the French region. And it goes through, um, let me have a little look, I'm going to have to read this, gets to the right page. It's going to go through the Garonne, the Gironde, and the Dordogne Do Do rivers. Lovely, lovely itinerary. You're going to go from Bordeaux on to Palak. Royan, it's the only cruise ship which actually goes to Royan and it's beautiful beaches and harbour front. Rochefort and La Rochelle, I went to La Rochelle with Quasi, lovely um, town, nice harbour, lots of churches, lots of cathedrals, so it's a historic, historic cruise as well. Libourne, saint Emilion, Cadillac, Arachon and then back to Bordeaux. What this cruise is all about though is dance. They are going to be dancing you silly, they're going to be dancing your socks off. So the all-inclusive is going to be really, really great value for money. Um, as it will say, it's including all your drinks. It's their first private, whole private Ciroc Charter. Um, it takes you through the southwest of France and its idyllic landscapes and famous wines with its historical mon monuments and iconic sites. So what does the price include? It includes your accommodation, which is on a full board basis. It includes the dining pack, or sorry, the, the drinks package. It includes Wi-Fi. You get varied and exciting workshops. You have indoor and outdoor freestyle dancing. You have it inspiring. I've seen Harry dance. It's not inspiring. Sorry, mate. I do love you, but you're getting better. Enthusiastic and ded dedicated teachers and DJs. Exclusive onboard activity, entertainment and activities. All port taxis and fee, and also a complimentary excursion to Royanne as well. So this includes everything. It's all dancing, it's all themed. They have a party, everybody gets involved, you get to know everybody. And as I say, he's taken 160 people away. I've, I know they've done it with MSC on a full cruise ship. This is the first time I've done it on having the whole ship to themselves. So everybody on this ship is gonna be dancing. You can change partners. It's absolutely good, good fun. And hopefully some of the um, videos will be going on behind me as I've been talking about this. So you wanna know how much it's costing? It's coming in at 1,099 pounds, as I say. You do, that's based on an outside cabin with portholes. You can upgrade to ones with picture windows, with slide, with balconies. Speak to the guys and girls at Fusion Cruises. So if this is a little bit of you, please click on the link, which will take you through to the website. Um, call Harry, Steve and his team. The number should be on the screen. Like it, share it on Facebook. Give us some Instagram love. And last but not, not least, uh, enable your notifications on YouTube and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. I've got Good Morning Vietnam out the way. I've got Harry and his Ciroc Cruise out the way. Perfect day. See you all tomorrow.